Now, my next guest I'm pretty excited about. And you may be surprised to find out that I'm so excited about him, but I am. He's Pastor Chris Butler, and he's running for U.S. Congress in Illinois. But he's a rare bird. He is a pro-life Democrat. And I like that. I do. We need many more of them. And he's in the same state where Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot said that she wants her city to be an oasis for abortion. Pastor Chris Butler, though, says this isn't a political left-right issue. It's a right-wrong issue. And I couldn't agree more. Please give a wonderful, kind welcome to Pastor Chris Butler. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much, Governor, for having me. When I heard about you and your campaign, uh, I was so thrilled that we were able to get you to come to the show. Mm -hmm. And I realized, you know, we, we try to get Democrats to come more often. And I promise we'll always treat them respectfully and kindly. But it especially intrigues me because I'm grateful that there are still people in the Democrat Party who are pro-life and not ashamed of it. Absolutely. I'm sure there's some pressure on you. Tremendous amount of pressure. Uh, on me and other folks in the community to give up this value. Uh, that really is something that I learned uh, in my community. Uh, I'd like to share with folks, uh, Governor, that I, I went to college in Chicago. Hmm. I grew up in Chicago. I didn't go anywhere else to learn these values. I learned them right at home, and wow. a lot of people share them. And there are a lot of prominent Democrats in the history of the party that have been strong pro-life. President John F. Kennedy, his brother Robert F. Kennedy. Yep. Uh, up until a certain point, Teddy Kennedy. Yes, indeed. Uh, Jesse Jackson was yep. once a staunch vocal advocate for the pro-life position. Mm -hmm. What happened in the Democrat Party? I think one of the main things uh, that has happened, Governor, is that folks uh, outside of our communities, communities like the African-American community, a lot of working uh, communities uh, that usually vote Democrat, Folks from outside of those communities have dumped so much money into our politics uh, that it has made it very, very difficult for folks who don't uh, sort of bow the knee on important questions like this uh, to, to survive in politics. I mean, I'm facing that right now. I'm facing a lot of folks in this primary uh, who have raised a lot more money uh, than we have raised. Uh, but I think that the values that we represent really are the values that you find uh, at the grassroots of our community. Chris, if you get elected, mm -hmm. You become a game changer yes. in Chicago and in your party. And that's why I really do hope that there not only is going to be a wave of support for you in your, in your race, mm -hmm. but across the country for you and folks like you. And one of the things that I hope you'll speak to, African-American babies are disproportionately aborted. Yep. And I don't understand why there are not more voices in the African-American community who say, look, we're... We're being targeted. That's where Planned Parenthood puts most of their clinics, right in the middle of our areas. And it's our babies who are the ones who aren't making it to the birth. Yeah, one of the things that I really think is important to point out is that there are so many voices in the community, uh, but there are so few platforms uh, for those voices because most of the people uh, who platform folks in our community uh, will not allow you on their platform if you're gonna come and talk about the sanctity of life. Mm. Uh, I, I am just one of those folks who have decided that we have to push uh, beyond that because the, the matter is too important uh, to save the lives of, of people who are created in God's own image. Chris Butler, I wanna tell you something. Uh, you know, usually I would try to recruit people to become Republicans. I, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna do that with you because I uh, would love to have you, but the truth is you are like uh, a true missionary in the Democrat Party. I cannot tell you how grateful I am for the courage that you have in maintaining the convictions of your biblical roots and believing that therefore you need to be strong on that. Mm -hmm. Man, we need you. We need a strong pro-life Democrat Party. I would love to see that. Yes, I'd, I'd love for this issue to never be political again, for it to be something that every party embraces. Absolutely. And you may be a part of helping us get there. And I thank God for you, I really do. I'm hoping that folks will uh, find out how to help you yes, be the indeed. congressman for that Chicago district. For our audience, please check out Huckabee.tv. We have a connection so that you can learn more about Pastor Chris Butler. And uh, it's just refreshing to have this conversation with him. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate him.